Hi Gordon, nice to see you again this morning. I just want to go over a few points that we discussed during today's session. Um, ideally, the, first, the only thing we want to discuss really is the timing of the release um, of your club into impact. Um, so ideally, having a look at this position now, um, I'll draw a couple of lines on. Looking at your arm and your club angle, the, that's halfway down um, into you, halfway on your downswing. Um, so we take it a couple more frames. Again, here now, just looking at this angle as it's getting shallower as you start to release that club a little bit too soon. And we're coming in. Again, you can see it's getting shallower and shallower. And then eventually, you've now got into a position where your club head has now taken over your hands. Now ideally your hands should lead the club head into the impact area, but you can see on this position as you've just come to hit that golf ball, uh, you know, your hands have now overtaken, uh, your club head sorry, has overtaken those hands, giving you that flicking or lifting action of the golf ball. So that's going to cause um, the shallowing out of your club into the golf ball, um, creating that fat shot or the catching of the grain just before the golf ball and those thin shots that you've been experiencing over the last couple of weeks. Uh, if we have a quick look here at Luke Donald um, on the top right hand side, again I'll pop a little line up there just to highlight his shaft angle as we take you down. A couple more frames you can see as he's in a position now just before impact you can see these hands are still in front of that club head as he comes hitting that golf ball again his hands are still in front of that club head ever so slightly they're still in front and it's only afterwards now he's got a complete straight line between his left arm and the shaft of his golf club but now the golf ball has gone so that's allowing him to bring the club down from a nice angle. Um, so he's got a good angle of attack into that golf ball, allowing him to strike the ball or strike down into that golf ball and hit it consistently well each time. Um, it's also allowing his forearms to rotate correctly through the golf ball to square that club face off um, to allow him to hit the ball down his target line. Whereas yourself, when you've got the, the early release and the flicking action, um, you've got you're fighting against the rotation there and it's just holding your club face open. So ideally what we're looking for during um, your downswing, if you look at the, the video bottom right, as you can see that from that position onwards, the hands are going to lead that club head. So you're going to hold the cocking of your wrist, or the 90 degrees wrist cock that you've got during that back swing, you're going to hold that for as long as possible, and as you're approaching impact, your hands are going to lead the club head. So at impact, your hands should be sort of opposite your left side, rather than opposite the right side, like yours are at the moment on the left hand uh, video. So your hands are going to lead that club head, and then as you're coming through impact, you're going to allow your right hand to rotate over the top of your left to square that club face off. Just as you can see there in the bottom video. Um, so we gave you a couple of drills to work on. Uh, one of those was to um, tie something around the bottom of your golf club, um, like a, a sweater or a scarf or a towel, anything that will create a little bit of drag um, to slow that club head down. Um, so when you swing in the club, to get that early release and to get your club head in front um, of your hands, you would have to work very, very hard to do so, because the drag of whatever the object you've got tied to the head of your golf club would slow that club head down, making sure that your hands lead that club head into the golf ball. So if you can work on that drill um, over the next couple of weeks, 
Um, if you've got any problems, give me a call or nip up to the golf club and see me one night. Um, on the other hand, uh, good luck with it all and I look forward to seeing you again soon.